Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a very simple uh, but elegant <laughs> uh, collage in Adobe Photoshop. It's going to be really fun, really simple, easy to do. Uh, but before we get started, this video was actually submitted by a uh, Facebook uh, group member uh, of the SleekLens Members Club Facebook group. Uh, to get there, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to that group and, and, and join the community, uh, just go to facebook.com slash groups slash sleek lens members club or you can just go to facebook in the search bar you can search for sleek lens members club and it'll be the first one that pops up okay so uh, like i said this was suggested by a user on the sleek lens members club facebook group and uh, what they wanted to know is how to make a collage in, in adobe photoshop uh, you can do uh, collages in a bunch of different places but if you want to do kind of a custom one uh, a photoshop is definitely the way to go and so i have three photos that i want to put in this collage i have this photo Photo right here this photo right here and this one as well and all I'm gonna do is to uh, to get the photos into my canvas here I'm just gonna click and drag over so I'm gonna click and hold and drag it over and now because my canvas is small uh, fa fairly smaller than the actual photo I'm just gonna click command and control T on the photo and I'm just gonna resize it so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit to right around there. I'm not going to get exact with it whatsoever, uh, just so uh, just so I have all the photos in here. And real quickly, to create a blank canvas like this, it's really easy in Photoshop. Just go to File, New, and you can choose the dimensions that work best for your photos. I chose a square aspect ratio, so I just did 1,000 by 1,000. It's pretty, pretty large and uh, 300 resolution and, and uh, color mode I did RGB just because that's better for uh, screens and that's most likely what this will be looked at for you know tablets iPhones stuff like that so I just clicked OK and that gave me this uh, blank box here so now let's get back to the photos I'm just gonna do the same thing click and drag over right around there it's too large so commander control T to transform and shrink it down and for this one I'm actually gonna line it up with this other photo so I'm gonna to try to get it the kind of same width so I'm gonna click right there click enter to accept those changes and then now I'm gonna get this other photo and this is where the rectangular marquee tool will come into play here in just a second because I only want to get the couple I don't want to get any of this over here so I'm just gonna click over here drag over to our canvas here same thing commander control T to uh, transform it and we're going to do right there. So I'm going to try to match up the width. Now this is just one type of collage you can do, but I'm, this is kind of giving you the tools to do your own. So I'm just going to line that up. Okay, so now I, what I want to do is I want to get the couple only. And as you can see, it's hiding the photos back here. And so my little trick to do this with is I want to be able to see the top and the bottom and where to cut off uh, the surrounding area around the couple and the easiest way to do that is just to lower the opacity and when you do that you can see the underlying photos don't all lower a whole bunch because you still want to see the uh, the top photo but just uh, just enough to see this so now what we can do is take the rec rectangular marquee tool click on that one and now we can draw a box around the couple so right there now what we need to do is take our opacity back up to 100 and now we just need to make a layer mask to remove everything but the couple so I'm just gonna click on the layer mask button down here and boom we just have the couple that's an easy way to make custom sizes for your photos so now all I'm gonna do is drag this over to the side and as you can see since we chose the same height as the other photos this works perfectly we do have our photo going off the canvas a little bit more so all we need to do is just highlight all the photos and just drag over and as you can see our photos fit pretty nicely in that box so now we have a couple options here what we can do we can keep it as just a simple three photo collage we can add more photos if we wanted to uh, but if we want to fancy it up a little bit this works really nice but if we want to fancy it up a little bit what we could do is we can take the uh, photos kind of move them up a little bit try to get them centered and we can even put a uh, fancy background on it for like a beach thing and then put some text on there our beach vacation all I gotta do is move that down a little bit right there and now we have a kind of 
very custom collage and it looks pretty it looks pretty fun so from here you can actually just go ahead and export this uh, put it on Facebook if you wanted to put it on Instagram that kind of thing uh, and and that's about it it's it's really really that simple to do uh, the only tool we really needed to use was the rectangular marquee tool all right guys I hope you enjoyed that really quick and easy uh, way to create uh, collages in Adobe Photoshop uh, thank you for joining me in this video my name is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video